listening. Damn. But today, mm-hmm. episode number two of my failed businesses. Now, this ain't the. I was eating, y'all. My bad. This ain't the only. This ain't the second one that I didn't succeed at, but this is one that I think I didn't succeed at for numerous amounts of reasons. So when I was in high school, right, I needed some money in my pocket. And um, I stopped. Well, I went to like this wholesale store right off the expressway. If you're from Chicago, you know what I'm talking about. Right off the expressway, it's like between, it's, it's in the 60s somewhere. It's on like 63rd or 62nd, something like that. I'm not sure. It's right next door to like a gas station. It's right off the expressway. Literally, it'd be packed over there. And um, they sell wholesale goods. So, um, for instance, you can get a fuckload of potato chips, all the same chips for like dirt cheap. It's like the Hoods Sam's Club. I don't know the name of the place. I just know where it used to come out of the place where my mom used to go in there. Because for a while, they wouldn't let me in there because I was too young. I guess they got like an age limit or something on there. Or at least that's what my mom was telling me. But for a while, I couldn't go in there. So once I actually got in, I think I was like 16, 17, something like that. I saw opportunity. I mean, shit, I saw all these bags of chips for dirt cheap. And then I saw all these now laters and all type of shit. They just had candy and all type of shit. So I'm like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm buying this shit. I'm taking it to school and I'm hiking up the price. Because at, at the school I went to, it was a small school, all-male high school called Hales, over there on like 49th, Cottage Grove, something like that, out the 49th, 40-something, so I don't know. I just went to the school. Didn't care what block it was on, but it was on Cottage. So I took it to school. I knew I can hike up the price because the only way we can get like snacks and stuff, it wasn't vending machines in the school. So the only way we can get snacks and stuff, we had to wait till lunch. <sighs> I hiked up the price. I used to come in there with like a gym bag. Hell of shit. I just hike up the price. A quarter bag of chips. I shoot them joints up to 50 cents, 75 cents sometimes. It really depends on the demand and it depends on my clientele at the time. And it depends on if I thought you was a goofy or not. Uh, but nevertheless, I treat everybody equally now. You feel me? Equal opportunity. Suckers out here. But it was back then, it was just like, I was just trying to make me some paper. So <clears throat> I used to sell all types of stuff like now laters, candy, juices, fucking chips, like a little, my own little candy store. And the money, I mean, I double my money every time. So I invest 20 bucks in, I bring 40 out. You feel me? I invest 40 in. I bring 80 out every time I double my money because I would at least set the bar at doubling. Well, double, I'll, I'll make at least double retail value. So what I mean by that is, and I wasn't getting high on my own supply. So I ain't eating chips. I ain't eating, I ate some now later sometimes, but chips and juices, all the premium stuff, I ain't eating none of that shit because I'm not trying to share with you who got your hand out and I ain't giving you shit free. Yeah, we cool, but motherfucker, you run me my money. You feel me? So what I used to do is I just bring to school, hike up the price I had, loyal clientele because they was in school with me, and I just eat the nihilators just to be that only dude in class eating stuff so everybody else like, oh, that show smell good, that show look good. And sometimes, I mean, I say I wasn't getting high on my own supply, but at least in the beginning of it, Shit, I, I'll be in class eating chips or something. And everybody in class would notice what I'm doing. Or I'll be walking in the hallway eating something. And everybody in the hallway would notice what I'm doing. So they'd ask for it. And once they asked for it, I told them I had it for sale. And that's how I eventually started jumping off. And, um, <clears throat> man, it was good money back in hell. It was good kid money, you know? And uh, any week I can bring in, like, I would say by the week I was bringing in at least two fifty to three hundred dollars every week, and that's all profit, baby, from just a few dudes at school selling them what they needed, and uh, that was my own little hustle. The reason I say it's a failed business for me, cause 
the way that my school is structured is it's an easy structure if you if you're a kid out there who got your little candy hustle going on in school and selling them out your locker selling them out your gym bag however you do it the way that you need to structure it is like this and i did it my sophomore year and i had a freshman kid who worked under me i would come to school i drop off everything to him we meet up i'd um tally out what he owes me at the end of the day he'd bring me back the stuff he had left and the money that we'd made for the day and from there i'd take the revenue which was eh, i told him it was half but you know it was what it was i take the revenue and then after i take the revenue we split up the profits he get half i get half so i at the, once he delivered me revenue i take 75 percent of revenue he takes 25 percent of the revenue um which should only be 50 percent of the profits so that's the way we broke it down i had a freshman kid who worked for me i was a sophomore when i did it which is the same year i started my real business that actually made me real money um so i stopped doing it but the reason i say it was a failed business is because if i was bringing in like 300 bucks myself with just my class plus the money i was bringing in from him which was like freshman it was hella freshman so freshman money was good money and that's the reason i look more into freshman money freshman money i could bring in with him like 500 bucks and that's because it was way more freshman than it was sophomore um it was a failed business because i should have motherfucking i should have capped off the whole market in school i should have had a freshman kid myself as a sophomore i should have had a junior and a senior all four of us we'll be the candy guys i come and put down all the supply and from me putting down the supply and out to my guys my guys would have you know distributed how they were supposed to we'd all meet up at the end of the day i'll take my cut they take their cut and then the next morning we'd meet up again uh it didn't last long with the freshman kid because it's probably my fault shit i came to school late a lot so he missed a lot of business so this motherfucker started doing it himself and i ain't hate i just let it go um because eventually I stopped doing it. But for a little while, it was getting me some bread. I know for sure I bought a few pair of Jordans off you guys out there at Hales. I appreciate you guys. But that's another one of my failed businesses. I have more. There's so many things I've tried. Have a good day. Subscribe. Definitely subscribe. Like, dislike, do whatever you want. Comment, say whatever you want. I don't give a damn, but make sure you subscribe.